Okay, I'm Ian M16 Butler here for the Fight Lounge. I'm stood here with Mick Sinclair. Mick, you're meant to be fighting tonight. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I was supposed to fight uh, Kurt Warburton, I think. Um, I don't even know if we got signed properly or not, but that was the idea. Anyway, he got another fight somewhere else, so he took that. Um, so the fight didn't come off, and a few weeks after that, I sat down and thought about it, and I thought, you know, it's time I gave this game up, really. I've had enough uh, competition, just keep training. OK, you say you've had enough of competition, but you were going to fight tonight. Is it more to do with the disappointment and the things outside of the competition than the actual competition? No, no. I, I just don't love it anymore. Do you know what I mean? I, you've got to love this. You've got to eat, eat, live and breathe it. And I've got a family. I'm having a baby. I'm getting married. And I don't do it twice a day, six days a week. And the level I was at, and you was at, you know, you know yourself. If you're not doing it, living it and breathing it, you, you're not doing it properly. Right, well, that happened to me two years ago. I've got a missus, had a little baby, settled down, thought I've had enough of this, I was pissed off with the things behind the scenes. I'm coming back in June. Do you think there's a chance you're going to do that in 12 months' time? Um, never say never, but probably not, to be honest with you. I just, I just don't love it the same. You've got to, you've got to love it, haven't you? you okay. Know? Well, what we're going to see, you're not going to leave the sport completely. You're doing coaching, you've got some guys to tell us about? Yeah, we've got, we've got our guys fighting tonight. We've got our own club, me and Rob. Still want to get down Predators and Carbon, still train with them guys. You know, any fight that Rob's having, say, say he gets the next big fight, which, you know, everyone knows on the circuit, we're hoping for Andre, when he's probably hoping for Rob. I'm going to get fit and get ready for that because if I'm not fit, it's no good me coughing and spluttering after two minutes, is it? I might as well be fit for Rob and then at least, if he is throwing me about and beating me up a week before Andre Winner, then it gives him a good perception of what level he's at. Whereas if I'm not fit, if I'm just unhealthy and I just get down and he beats me up, it's not doing him any good, really. So. No, certainly. Well, can I pick you for a prediction? How do you think the fight's going to go? Robin Winner. I think Winner's going to be shocked when Rob hits him. Big style. There's nobody in this country at lightweight. I'm sorry. <laughs> nobody hits like Rob. I'm not having it. Everyone's got their own skills. They have. You've got good boxing skills. Terry Etting, fantastic tie box. Fantastic on ground. Is it, that's because Rob knows I've moved to welterweight. Yeah, OK, fair enough. <laughs> you know, everyone's Andre Winner, fast as anything. They've, every light pole, sass, brilliant on ground. They've all got the attributes. Rob's attribute is he'll knock you out from here. He'll knock you out from two inches, and that's that's how it is. If he hits Andre when he's going to be shocked, and he's got 25 minutes to hit him once, and I think he will do, and I think he'll knock him out. I wish you all the luck in the world, Mick. Cheers. Cheers yeah.